I went to Hangzhou West Lake. The foreign visitors come, I practice my English. I found everything the foreign visitors told me are so different from the things my parents told me, my teacher told me, and the newspaper I read. When I graduated, I was assigned to teach in a university. So for five years, I've been teaching, I worked hard. Everything I taught my students are the things I learned from books. I should leave the school, spend a 10, 15 years, get all the experience, and then go back to teach. Then I came to America, 1995. First trip to the States. First time in my life I touched the keyboard of computers. And he started searching things on the internet. When he searched China, nothing came up in the search results. So he said to himself, if I can put Chinese companies on the internet and allow them to connect with business people in the US and other countries, I could create a really powerful business. This thing could be big. Without knowing anything about technology, computer, we started the first company using internet to open Sesame for small business online. It's now the biggest e-commerce firm in the world, dwarfing the combined sales of Amazon and eBay. Alibaba has helped create hundreds of millions of internet consumers, a whole new social class in communist China. When Jack Ma dreamed up Alibaba in 1999, the online world looked nothing like it does today, and the World Wide Web barely reached all the way to China where retail stores were rare outside the big cities. For most of the country, there was no such thing as package delivery or credit cards. The only way to buy anything was face-to-face -face and in cash. When we started the e-commerce, nobody believed that China would have e-commerce because people believe on the guanxi, face-to-face, -face. there's no trust system in China. For e-commerce, the most important thing was trust. Everything we do is trying to build up the trust system. When we launched Taobao, we thought we're going to have a big business in about one month. But for the first five days, nobody come here even shopping. We have to buy ourselves. He sell, we buy. First month, where somebody came to sell, no matter whatever he sell, we buy them. That will tell them, well, this thing really can be able to sell. So more people come sell. We bought a whole house of things garbage. They're no use. But at least we build up the trust. At least a 60 million trust happening every day. People don't know each other. I don't know you, I send products to you. You don't know me, you wire the money to me. And I don't know you, I give a person a package. I don't know him. He took something to so cross the ocean, cross river, and send. This is the trust. For the first three years, we made a zero revenue. A lot of we have an Alibaba group, we have a Tmall group, we have a Taobao group, we have an Alipay. Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba began offering massive online bargains to its platform. Seeing the potential of Alibaba's move, most Chinese retailers jumped on board the next year. Now, Singles Day has become the biggest shopping day in the entire world. A bunch of bachelors in Nanjing started the holiday in 1993. The date 11-11 looks like four single guys. Singles Day is no longer about being single, it's about spending money. More than 500 million Chinese shoppers. It's convincing a whole lot of singles to shower themselves with gifts. Exactly at midnight on November 11, discounts appear online. <laughs> God bless anyone that's trying to go to a shop. We sell things not by mouse. We sell things not by day. We sell things by seconds. Hollywood stars helping to kick off the biggest shopping day on the planet.双十一把我们大家搞得很累我们相信每一年的双十一都是十年以后的平均的量 Today we create 33 million jobs for China 
when you have more than a hundred million dollars, one billion dollars, that money does not belong to you. It's the social responsibility. If people trust you, ask you to manage the money better. What would you say to an American investor who is really interested in your company, but worries about interference from the government, transparency, books, regulators we don't understand? How do we get around all of that? Trust. Trust us, trust the market, and trust the young people, and trust the new technology. If you ask me, how can we last our success? We believe we should support more young people, more SMEs, more women. We should make an economy that is big enough, enable every young people, every small business, every woman. They want a global buy, global sell, global deliver, global pay, and global travel with the technology we're giving. I don't want 15 years later, we're still talking about why and how e-commerce can help people forget about e-commerce because they think it's like electricity. Nobody thinks it's a high-tech today. Laptop, fitness equipment, cameras, all bought with a few clicks. We believe e-commerce. Many other items he admits he doesn't even need. We believe internet. I do overconsume online, especially when they are on sale. We believe by helping young people. A lot of times I buy them without thinking too much and never touch them again after I open the packages. Helping small business, we will have the future. Even if I don't like them, I don't return because I'm lazy. When you help others, you are helping yourself. So when I look at people say, hey, Jack Ma, people criticize him. I'm happy people criticize him. That's not me. People praise him and say, no, that's not me. I know very well this is not me. It's my job. This is why I want to retire early. I can go back to myself. And very soon I will go back to teach. I think I can do much better than be the Alibaba CEO. Jack Ma is going to step down as executive chairman and then he'll be focusing on charity work in education.